Salam and peace. Welcome to Dawa Dude. Um, inshallah, in our Polish or Dawa James, today we will uh, share a very short clip uh, from taken from um, Hamza's Day Insight, uh, which is a Sunday chill program. So the entire video is like around four and a half hours long, actually. I found this short uh, dialogue between Hamza and a Christian person. Uh, talking about the King James Version is very interesting and it can be used in further devil purposes. So let me um, play that clip for you. And please uh, subscribe to uh, Hamza Zdain channel and also Dawadu channels, Hamza Zdain channels at Hamza Zdain. And also subscribe to my channel also. And please share and um, subscribe and uh, and convey to others, okay, Jazakallah khair. Uh, let me play for you, okay. Why you see my mama? No, but are you a Christian? If you're a Catholic, you're a devil worshiper. You got the promise. Are you a Christian? If you, if you say Christian, I'm a follower of Jesus, correct. Right, and you read the Bible. Yes, you're going to run to my belief. You're going to do a two two car cave policy. You're going to run to my belief and right. spit them up. Right. Which, which which Bible do you read? Which Quran do you read? Which do you read lots of words? Which Bible do you read? Which Quran do you read? I read in English. Which Bible do you read? You read it in English. Yeah. I read the clear Quran. Uh, well, do you read the Bible in what what language do you read the Bible in? English. Did did God reveal the Bible in English? So why are you asking me? Why are you asking me that question then? As if you can have that position and I can't. So which English Bible? Which English Bible do you believe is most reliable? Are, are you serious? So you're saying the KJV and the ESV are both reliable? Okay. So which one is reliable? But out two of them. Why? 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 Why would you say the KJV is the most reliable? Why? Mm. Because you got correct translations. How do you know that? Because from the Greek, you can see that the translations are correct. They even have the context in. Which, from which manuscripts have they been translated from? I take from the one. Well, the page you talk about manuscript, you talk about the. We said translated from. So yeah. So which codex? Yes, have they been translated from? Codex Sinaiticus. Sinaiticus. What Quran manuscript you take? Oh, okay. Have you got your KJV Bible on you? Have you got your KJV Bible on you? Yes, sir. Okay. Can you read Acts eight thirty seven? If you believe with all your heart, you man, and he and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Okay. Is that in the, is that in the Codex Sinaiticus? It should be. But it's not. Does that change the theology? Well, how would you translate something that's not there? Does that change the theology? How would you translate something that's not there? Well, for example, there was verses that aren't still quoted by church fathers like first john 5 7. okay i'll say it again to you how can you translate a verse that's not there you get it from church fathers so you know your kjv which you believe is the most reliable bible has a verse in it that isn't found in the manuscripts that you believe are the most reliable well show me the show me the two 
verses in the Quran from Ibn the, the Quran's not going to help. Quran's not going to help. Quran's not going to help you. Son, 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 the Quran. Son, the Quran's not going to help you. The son, son, the Quran's not going to help you. Okay, you've chosen a Bible. You, you, no, because here's the thing you see. You're trying to stand here with the audacity to say the Bible has not been corrupted. You then give the codex that you think it's been translated from, which doesn't match the Bible you read. Yeah? Changing of the text. All right, you, you define corruption for me. So corruption will be anything that... No, that's not what corruption is. It is. Is that your own definition of corruption? That's how, that's how the Christian definition of corruption is. Oh, so Christians have their own definitions for words to suit their worldview. Is that what you're saying? Well, so do you Muslims. <laughs> <laughs> you Muslims. Have... Yeah, that's dude. You know, listen to me. Corruption means changing something from the original. That's what, it, that's what it means. And if you add to the text, if you add to the text, you've corrupted the text. And if you remove from the text, you've corrupted the text. So either the KJV is the corrupt one, or the ESV is the corrupt one. Which one is it? Because they're both different. They're both different. Oh, I can't do this. Corrupted the Quran. Don't run from that. Honestly, man, Obi. <laughs> oh dear. Yes, dude. Wa alaikum assalam. So, just one second. Somebody talked in the comment section on TikTok. You cut him off because you didn't like the truth. <laughs> Oh, this is madness. Go on, Obi, what are you saying, dude? Go on. Why we believe he's a true prophet? Yes, go on. Was Joseph Smith a known liar? Yeah, 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 he was a con man, first thing, that's the first thing. Second thing, and this is the one that gets me, these gold tablets appeared, right, that only he could read, right? No one else could read these gold tablets, only he could read it. Now, my question would be, if only he could read it, how did everybody else know he could read it? Because how can anyone fact check him? He could say, yeah, I can read this. <laughs> it's completely gibberish. And he can not like, yeah, it says this. Do you, do you get me? How would you verify that, right? And if you want to verify it, you can't because those gold tablets went away. So, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So the guy is a con man claiming he's the only one who could read these gold tablets. And yet nobody else can read them because they're no longer available. And... Oh, this is the irony of ironies. And these gold tablets are an explanation of the King James Bible. <laughs> just, just going, what is the, what is the point? <laughs> Who cares about an interpretation of a book which is a non-corrupt book? It's just like, what? Oh. You're welcome, dude. Take care. Assalamu alaikum. Imagine, though. Ima imagine the scenario, would not it, yeah? There's a text, right? Can anybody read this text? No, no one can read it. This, this is so profound. No one can read it. I can read it. Can you read it? Yeah. What, you can't read it? Yeah, 
<laughs> of course I can read it. I'm Joseph Smith. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. He is. He is the Messiah. He can read the text that no one else can. But no one else can verify whether he can read the text because we don't have the text. <laughs> oh, this is funny, man. Oh, Allah uh, this is This has been funny today. I've really, really enjoyed Sunday chill. Uh, with his top hand. <laughs>